So it's come to this. I don't think you understand that our mechs are built better. Welcome back. We asked for them and they have arrived. Mechs are finally here and they are extremely cool. Good job, all of you amazing Helldivers out there that helped take back those factories and earned us this stratagem. As much as I enjoy the look of this amazing mech suit, I wanted to test its battle readiness and see how this thing performs. So let's take a look at some of the things about this mech that it can and can't do. First off, when you call this in, your ship will come down and actually cover you as it's dropping in, so you will have some protection while attempting to call this in. This can also be used to clear some stuff out, as that ship gun is quite strong, so use that how you will. When you call in a fresh mech suit, this will come down with a thousand rounds for the minigun, and 14 total rockets for those heavier targets. Now, something to note is with the minigun, it does have to spin up when you first attempt to fire this, so that is something to look at when you pull this out, looking to get use out of it right away. This can take out a charger's leg armor with one single rocket shot, and then you can finish it off using your attached minigun, or if you're playing in a team, let the team take care of it at that point. Otherwise, if you wanted to use two rockets, that would also do the job here, but I feel like it'd probably be the best just to use one and then make use of other small arms to take this guy out just to save a little bit of resources as you do only get 14 rockets with this mech. Two well-placed shots on the head of a Bile Titan and this will also take down these heavily armored foes. If there's a bit of sway on your shot, this will most likely take three on average if you are on the move as the sway with the rockets is very slippery, so it will tend to bounce around as you are moving. So standing stone shooting is going to get you much better shots and better ammo efficiency if you can, but this may be a bit harder as you turn the difficulty up since there will be a little bit more to run away from and you'll be on the move a lot more. The attached minigun doesn't seem capable of taking out nests or outposts, but the rocket pods can. I don't think this is the best use of these limited missiles, but if it's something you want to take out and it's on your way, then why not? This mech can handle crowds pretty well too, so if you find yourself in a bug breach, then buckle up, spin that gun, and fire away. As long as you keep moving, you should be able to handle crowds with this decently well. I will say that this is going to be best at defending objectives, as it's quite slow and it won't be able to move across the map at quick speeds, especially if you're sporting light armor. Another thing I wanted to know is that in the first one, you could call in stratagems while you were in the mech. In Helldivers 2, that doesn't seem to be the case so far. Knowing that, keep in mind that your support will be limited to what you can provide with the two weapons on that mech. As for the inferior armor faction, this mech suit can take out a hulk with one well-placed shot to the face using your rockets. Though, do note, if you miss, it will take a couple to actually bring this down. So accuracy when using this is still going to be important rather than just firing at will and hoping something blows up. This also holds true with tanks if you can hit their vent on the back. Both of these will take around two to three shots otherwise, depending on your placement, so consider that when you come up against the bots, as positioning of this slower mech will need some consideration to get the best use and the most ammo efficiency. Next, I wanted to see how much damage you could actually withstand in this mech suit, and so far, in my experience with it, this thing is going to have a much easier time lasting with bugs than bots. You can take two hits from a charger slamming down on you with full health, however, one hit may take out parts of your mech, rendering it a bit less useful. So if you take a hit, check your mech and make sure that all parts are intact, as you could be missing a few things after taking some hits. You will notice when this is about to blow up as it will start showing black smoke coming from the top of it, which means you need to get what use you can or get out. Because if you are in there when it blows up, you aren't coming out alive. I even tested this with the shield pack on and you still die, which is what I thought would happen, but it was something I just wanted to know. Some small things that didn't fit in a specific category. If you're running the guard dog rover backpack, it will not stay out and shoot but nestle on top of your mech since it can't access your backpack so you won't get an extra helper when in this suit. The other thing is, you can enter this with any backpack on, and it won't affect you, so if you have a support weapon like the auto cannon or something similar, you're still able to keep that on your person while jumping into this mech, and then when the mech gets out of use, then you can use your support weapons again when you get out. You also can't pick up things like samples while in this, so you will have to get out to actually pick those things up. I think these mechs were a great addition to the game, and actually more useful than I thought they would be. Although they are not OP, and they won't change a massive balance scale within the game, we'll have to see as far as the balance changes what that entails as far as, you know, how well these perform, but as of now, they're definitely not OP with the current state of the game, at least in my opinion. I can imagine if four Helldivers are running around in these, you can cause some real chaos. Currently they have an active buff, thanks to Joel I imagine, where everyone gets to use this mech today for free. So if you haven't got the requisition to purchase this, you can use it anyways right now. This mech does come with two uses when you actually own it, but you only get one use if you are using the freebie that is available today. 
So get in those armored suits, go cause some mayhem, and we will see you in the next video.